Now that the neural uplink has been successfully installed, I can access my full database. Director Hill is reviewing the shield protocols that you also recovered. Feeling better, Jarvis? Everything seems to be in working order. You have no idea how much this means to me. To S.H.I.E.L.D. Thank you, Bruce. You too, Kamala. With this, I can start rebuilding S.H.I.E.L.D. in earnest. If you ever need anything, give me a call. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. Looking forward to it, Director. I feel like I should salute or something. No, no need for that. Good luck, both of you. Jarvis, you think you can get us Tony? This will take some time, but I should be able to find Mr. Stark. In the meantime, I've uncovered something that might be of interest to Ms. Khan in the harm room. The what now? The holographic augmented reality machine. Something the Avengers use for training. Whoa, that sounds awesome. I should warn you, the system may be a little irregular. Is this safe? Only 0.0001% chance of injury. Uh, okay. I trust you, I guess. Proceed through the crew quarters. The harm room is on the lower floor of the hangar bay. Thanks, Jarvis. Research campus in the Pacific Northwest. What you just this is where the Avengers hung out. Do you think there's still soda in these? Eh, probably all flat after five years. Somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. I received this from an anonymous source who described waking up at his campsite to the sound of gunfire, screaming, and an unmistakable roar. He approached the chaos with caution and captured this exclusive footage of the Green Goliath fighting what appear to be some kind of armed soldiers. We know this area is close to an old Stark Industries archive. So the question on many minds today is, are we seeing the re-emergence of the Avengers? And if so, does that herald a return of the Age of Heroes or the horror of A-Day all over again? It's still hard to believe all this is real. I mean, I just flew on a Quinjet to a secret shield base. Uh, we saw Nick Fury, and, and now I'm talking to Jarvis and not keeping my cool at all. <laughs> Sorry. No need to apologize, Miss Khan.
think well done.
stock. Oh, uh, on my way. Mr. Stark's last known location is his ancestral home, Golden Acres. You may be able to find a clue to his current whereabouts there. Never heard of it. He really does not want to be found. Indeed not. The estate was located in a remote area of Nevada. I can provide you with the precise coordinates. Dr. Banner. Check out the fancy drawbridge. <sighs> Typical. Subtle Tony. After you. <sighs> I can't believe we're about to knock on Tony Stark's door. Me neither. <laughs> Looks like the controls are on the other side. You think you can find a way over there? I mean, I could break through those rocks, but the green guy isn't the best at talking things out. Good point. Ah, I can see why you like this. Uh, no, he uh, likes smashing things on me. Why not? It's kind of fun. So, what's the best part of being the Hulk? You gotta like something. Uh, we should really focus on the drawbridge. What are you gonna do? Stand around in silence the whole time? <laughs> yeah, great idea. Eh, suit yourself. More rocks? No problem. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I can see Golden Acres. G uh, kinda. Great. So, can you jump over and lower the bridge? Sure thing. You can make that jump. Just a little. <sighs> okay. Guess it needs power. Burn that bridge, Kamala. Ta-da! I hereby grant you passage to Sir Stark's fancy castle. Okay, calm down. Nice job. Sounds like he's up, at least. Isn't that one of his top five songs to kick, uh, butt to? Yep. Good old number four.
can't be it. Let's get this over with. So Tony Stark, the Tony Stark lives here? I appear so. Tony? Hey, Bruce. Long night? Ooh, long five years. <laughs> um, well, this is quiet. Yeah. It was. I... <clears throat> hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala, your Emeraldite friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check it was a heist, science? Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're gonna be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I, I can't, I can't. You can't what, you're ditching me? Hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the ball despite saving the day, and that bastard Tarleton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So. Unless you have some kind of astounding proof. I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Hmm. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I changed that. Son of a bitch. I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's there's more here. What? Yeah, look at smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is, who is Tiny Dancer? Oh no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny Dancer? Look, we really should go. Now. Well, I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay, I got to get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah, maybe, sort of. We'll see.
Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. where I left my boots. Ah, of course Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. No, oh, son of a... Well... Looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. flying machine. It's still a thing of beauty. Can't say the same thing for her. Let's get airborne. More party crashers. Gonna need a helmet. Ah, great Uncle Rob, war hero. Gotta finish suiting up. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Good thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I know? Uh, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Good to see you, Georgie boy. You been working out? You any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh... Mr. Stark... I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. <laughs> Do people actually buy that crap? Nice move, kiddo. Yeah, Kamala? Close as he'll let you. 
No, I got this. Watch. Wait, you're not ready for... Or maybe you are. and I are seeing someone about our issues. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing patterns. Five years ago, you showed up and forced my hand. Give me the girl, and you and Banner can do whatever you want. Forget it. Took the words right out of my mouth. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Have you done rambling? Almost. Oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned. 
turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf, but it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. Jarvis! You haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climate... So it's bad. That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me? AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right. While we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. See what you can do about decrypting this file. At once. Gotta see why the turbines won't activate. Better check out the initiator cores in the hangar. <laughs> 